We now know that four people have been killed and several others injured during a shooting at a birthday party Saturday night. This is in Dadeville. That is according to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. We know the shooting happened at that birthday party around 1030 last night, according to the Alabama Law Enforcement. There was no initial confirmation about what led to the shooting, and it was not immediately known if a suspect was in custody. During a news conference that we played for you a short time ago, we heard from a sergeant with the law enforcement agency in Alabama saying there were four lives tragically lost in this incident and there's been a multitude of injuries. Now the shootings happening in the small city of about 3200 that is Dadeville and the chief there of police did pause to regain his composure before speaking there at the news conference. You could tell that he was fairly distraught. He said, quote, what we've dealt with is something that no community should have to endure. I just ask for your patience. It's going to be a long process, but I do earnestly solicit your prayers. Pastor Ben Hayes, who serves as the chaplain for the Dadeville Police Department and for the local high school football team, said that most of those victims are teenagers because the shooting did occur at a birthday party for a 16 year old. He said the shooting has rocked the small town where serious crime is very rare. He said, quote, one of the young men that was killed was one of our star athletes and just a great guy. So I knew many of these students. Dadeville is a small town and this is going to affect everybody in this area. We can tell you another news conference is scheduled to take place here in about an hour and a half. That could be give or take a few minutes, but we will bring that to you live, raw and unfiltered. The one from earlier was from a local newspaper, so the audio a little tough to make out, but we do expect that Fox News crews will arrive by then and should be able to get us better audio for that next uh, news conference that again should be held in just about an hour and a half.